Hello everybody. I am filming, starting this video at the end of the last one. It's kind of uh, in the same string. So as I was backing up, I was like, oh man, that's my town car back there. I am still in the Subaru. So we just, uh, we just got back from replacing brake pads and rotors. I probably won't post it at the same day as the other one. So everything ended well. I am getting out. And the reason why I'm even filming this or to be starting to film is I noticed this car and this car on one side is rather sad on the other side it's pretty awesome and here it is a Ford Crown Victoria that's been kind of modified I can't say I love how it was modified but nonetheless I do appreciate the fact that it's a Crown Victoria and it's been modified with some weird skirts over fenders, some aftermarket looking rims. And it's got rust all over the place. And for some reason, those skirts are not back here. That's weird. Um, nothing weird in the back other than a bunch of rust right there. Let's see. How can I get this? It's parked so close to the other ones. So, hmm. It's it's lowered. Either that or suspension is uh, gave out. It has some very weird failing tint. Um, now, also the back. I didn't know that Ford Crown Victorias had wood in the in the steering wheel. So plus it's got the armrest. So this is. I think some of it is modified. I see heated leather seats. So I think the steering wheel probably came from a different Ford, possibly like an Explorer or an Expedition, something like that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know what this person is thinking, but it, obviously it's their car. It's the, <laughs> I'm in no position to tell them what to do. Yeah, rust is, is crazy in here. I thought I had rust. No, this rust is way worse. Failing paint. It has leather, so I wonder if it's uh, stock leather or is it aftermarket. It's also, this looks like a former cab because front bumpers are black and yellow. So there's some yellow stuff coming up. Yeah, so I have a feeling that the steering wheel is not exactly. Although it does have fog lights. So maybe this is like a former LX type of deal. And they just swapped the steering wheel. Oh yeah, let me know. Did, uh, did Crown Victoria's ever had wood on the steering wheel? I don't think so, but I'm not an expert. There's actually no badges back here at all, so I don't know what kind of Crown Vic it is. It's got a spoiler, so maybe it is an LX, or maybe it's one of those weird ones like the Sport Edition. So anyway, now these days, if I see any kind of a interesting vehicle, first thing I do is I start filming it, and this is one of those days. Not too far away from it, let me make my way to my car over here there we go here it is did you miss me hmm looks much better don't you think when somebody actually takes care of their car oh you know what I'm gonna use the keypad I'm not gonna tell you what the code is BAM right there Whew. yeah so I don't know uh, they took that steering wheel from from somewhere oh, oh wow it is a freaking thousand degrees in here. Whew. Let's get it going. And it says 92. September, for God's sakes. Ah, uh, you see. All right, well, so I'm just transferring from the Subaru, my wife's car, to a Lincoln. I'm glad to be back at 98,241 miles dummy come on focus dummy lights free this is just showing that i didn't buckle up yet Whew. all right well this was a weird look of a crown vic back in a lincoln see you next time